Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, Pacific Northwest Weather Watch. Today is September 5th, and right now we're looking at the mid-level water vapor loop, BC, Washington, Oregon. You can see the trough swinging through. This trough will continue on into some portion of this week, and then we're going to build a ridge here across the Pacific Northwest through the weekend, warm things up, but then we've got another system knocking on our door. By the time we go towards the end of the weekend, we'll be looking at those details here in a bit. This is if you want a nice, affordable home weather station, check out the giveaway I'm going to be doing in the live stream tomorrow. You have to be a member, so click that join button down below and you have to be actively in the chat so you're gonna have to claim the prize as i do the giveaway here or that's going to go to the next person down the line everybody's going to have an equal opportunity to win this station We're giving away one here tomorrow probably about 7 p.m tomorrow night and if you want to buy this station outright just click on it the link down below to save 10 percent off this is looking at atmospheric river categories just kind of reintroducing everybody to this we're going to be dealing with this we go through the fall and the winter months we get atmospheric rivers here every single year in the pacific northwest and you can see the rating scale between weak moderate strong extreme and exceptional and the one rolling through this weekend here just barely showing up as an ar1 across some areas of washington coast up to vancouver island and western bc here so just kind of a reintroduction to that. We'll be dealing with that as we go through the season. Taking a look at the air quality index. Most of that nasty smokes across BC, Alberta, and portions of Montana. Not doing too bad across Washington, Idaho, and Oregon, unless you're around immediately around one of those fires out there. But that record fire season across Canada just continues. As you can see, the smoke is pretty dense and pretty nasty up there. Taking a look at SeaTac yesterday, 66, 75 is the average high for this time of year. And we've got two days there back to back with some light precipitation amounts. Not a bad start for September. Hopefully we can bring some more as we go through this weekend as well. But we've got some signals from buzz, some above average temperatures here as we go through the extended forecast. More on that here in a moment. Here's today thunderstorm outlook across some of uh, Idaho and there are some thunderstorms uh, potentially across eastern BC into Alberta as well. And tomorrow, just a general risk. Uh, there across portions of Idaho and Montana also. So looking at yesterday afternoon's European run, 24 hour totals. We see that trough kind of swinging through here, and we're going to have a couple rounds here kind of move through and maybe hit the cascades here as we go through Thursday afternoon and evening, the higher terrain of Idaho and Montana, and that trough will kick out, and then our eyes turn to this next system that will be approaching as we go through the day Sunday. Will this trend stronger in the system, in the model runs here? Will the system trend stronger in the model runs here coming up? Or will it weaken? As something we'll be watching closely here over the next few days. We're going to get a pretty strong ridge here. So it'll be interesting to see how strong the storm system comes in. It's got a pretty good punch out over the ocean here, but you can see by the time it's approaching the Washington coast, it doesn't bring much precipitation into interior areas such as Portland and Seattle here. So we'll be watching that one closely here over the next few days. This is looking at 500 millibars on the GFS. This is hot off the press is the 12z run here's british columbia washington oregon there's alaska right there you can see the trough we're going to be dealing with here for the next few days and we're going to start to warm up as we go towards Friday, you can see the ridge building here across the western portion of the USA, but then the next system comes rolling in here as well. But a pretty nice weekend looks to be on tap here for much of the Pacific Northwest temperature-wise. And you can see that system try to get in towards Vancouver Island. It'll be interesting to see if that trend's stronger or weaker here over the next few days. This is the European, last night's run, the most recent European. Troughing hangs out for a bit. Ridge builds, good model agreement between the GFS there, and then the system moves towards Vancouver Island. So yeah, something to watch here for the next couple days this is looking at seattle metro that warm up this weekend probably up towards 80 degrees here so get out and enjoy that could be the last significantly warm weekend here of the year no promises there as well we do have another bump in some of these temperatures as we go through mid-september potentially but yeah you never know here in the pacific northwest uh, Spokane, you can see above average signal here as we go through mid-September as well. This is the GFS and pretty warm temperatures there on Saturday and Sunday, maybe in, even into the low 80s there. This is Spokane on the GFS here as well. As you can see some temperatures into the 80s as we go through midweek. This is Seattle Tacoma showing a little bit of precip starting to peak out here in some of the ensemble members as we go through the weekend. Something to watch over the next couple of days. Hoke William as well, better chance on the Washington coast is pretty typical. And, <clears throat> excuse me, Tillamook, Oregon can't roll out some precip with that system also. This is all the way up on Vancouver Island here, about midway up the coastline. And you can see some of these precipitation values with that next system. Check in for a fantasy windstorm forecast there on Vancouver Island as well. Not much showing up. Maybe some blustery conditions as we go through Sunday as that system arrives. And you can see the Nootka Sound, British Columbia heliopad there on the Vancouver Island coastline if you want to know where that is. This is National Blend of Models. So you can see today right around 70 degrees for SeaTac. Of course, a little bit warmer here across the Willamette Valley. Pretty typical. A little bit of a warm up tomorrow and then as we get towards friday and saturday
Friday, we start to bump these temperatures up. Probably a nice weekend here coming across Pacific Northwest. Then a bit of a cool down as that system starts to swing through here Sunday into Monday. Again, we'll watch the timing, the amount of precipitation that system might bring here day to day. Seattle Tacoma fantasy windstorm hunt. Nothing of note as we go through about the 15 day period here. Eight to 14 day temperature outlook. You can see September 12th through 18th here above average signal here across much of the region. Precipitation generally below average here expected through September 18th. This is an interesting forecast too as well. It's generally almost always a fantasy forecast, but this is issued once a month here and it goes out month by month. This would be for September 2023. Actually a little bit of uh, abnormal troughing here off the West Coast. Go through October, just a little bit of a blurb of some abnormal troughing. They go to November. December. What I wanted to show here is as we get towards January, the subtropical jet stream looks like it's going to start getting enhanced due to El Nino here. So we'll be going over some of these details here. I'm going to do another El Nino video here in the next week or so, and I'll explain some of this stuff here. But you can kind of see how this troughing is further out off the Pacific Ocean here, meaning we're going to be more in a warmer southwesterly flow. So probably above, av above average normal temperatures here coming from much of the West Coast. Now, yeah, anyway, that's what we're dealing with. We're going to warm up this weekend. Ridge is going to build, and we've got a system to watch over the next few days. It'll be interesting to see how it trends. But, yeah, um, so join me for that Weather Station giveaway. Click on that Join button down below. Become a member of the page, and, yeah, and then we're going to go ahead and give that away. I've also got something else special going here, another Weather Station I need someone to help me out with here, and we're going to do some kind of... Uh, I need to find a good place for some wind settings. I'm looking at Enumclaw, Washington. I'm looking at the Washington or Oregon coastline. Any homeowners out there, I'm going to try to get you guys to let me put a weather station on your home so I can get the best readings, you know, and get that weather station live. It's more of an expensive weather station. It costs much more so I can co-locate the anemometer onto a pole above a roof or something to that nature here as well. But I'll be going over that here maybe today or the next couple of days. I'll give some more detail on that. But if... You guys are a homeowner on the Washington or Oregon coast or out there in Enumclaw, Washington, and you've got a nice clear wind run. For example, out there in Enumclaw, I want to be able to see off to the east without any trees blocking your location. And across the Oregon, Washington coast, I'd like to be as close to the coastline as possible with a nice clear wind run off to the south and the southwest and the west for the most part there. So anyway, yeah, I'll go over that here and I'll probably do a separate video for it. And in fact, I'll explain the weather station a little bit for those interested as well. But anyway, hope you guys are having a good day. We'll do this again tomorrow and I will We'll talk to you guys then.